if you condemn the whole of your culture as a, you are a stupid idiot. So you, if you ask Ifa, you say it's a religion. Ekpega said, Ifa is not a religion, but contains religion. Ifa is not philosophy, but contains philosophy. Ifa is not science, but contains science. And profound science. The mistake is to say that Ifa is pure religion. No. It's a record of Yoruba thought. They are recorded in different disciplines. And it has been discovered today that computer science is in Ifa. That particle physics, which has just been discovered in Europe, is there. There's a man in America, John Smith Jr. Particle physics is the latest development in Western science. It is in Ifa, which means Ifa is ahead of the West. And Ifa was in the system 500 years before Jesus Christ was born. Now, all we ask, if you ask me, it's a room like, oh, it's okay, please discover them. I'm not preaching. And to know it's a room like, all you have to do, what did he say? And luckily for us, more than 15 people have documented the fine writing. Read what Socrates said, and read what a room like, and you make up your mind. There is a particular professor from Ghana. He said, Africans must copy the Western man. That's why you are speaking English. I said, you want to be like them. But if I had told us, if we have a nation like Africa or Yoruba, who believes that he must follow his enslaver, then we are in trouble. Somebody who came to enslave you, you want to take him as the ideal, and you want to make progress. And let me quote an if I, that says that. A nation that wants to have progress and turn it back to, to the front, how can you move? You want to go forward, but you are turning your face to the slavers. There is no absolutely bad culture. There is no absolutely bad, good culture. You must study culture to know what is positive and can be used for development. I know those ones you should throw away. If you condemn the whole of your culture as a, you are a stupid idiot. If you praise everything, you are compound fool. All you need, study your culture, take the one that is good for progress, leave the one that is, but to say that your bad culture has nothing for the future, again, stupid idiot. The idea of having many gods, no, I'm a boy long or lower. I've never seen any other person call God in Yoruba language. I know about Olodumare. Let's start with the meaning of Olodumare. If you speak in Yoruba, you know the word Odu. It means a pot. Mare means that it's never exhausted. So the man who has the pot that is not accessible. In English, it means almighty. Everything is within it. That is Olu Mare. Now, if you want to tell me that you have many gods, I have a book, if a city with 201 gods, mention them. If you are speaking Yoruba, have you had anybody who says, so go along, or Ya or Ogun or I have never had it. So go or Ya Ogun, there's a name we call them, Orisha. Does Orisha mean God? No. If you speak the Yoruba language, Orisha is a, when you have language, Olodu Mari, we put it together because Olodu Tio Kire, we shorten it. Orisha is short in form of Orisha. Ori is your destiny. Picks you out. So the meaning of Orisha, I want you Orisha. I want to get pay along that one. Often one low real affair, like she can And if you take the Orisha in Yoruba, every Orisha only in Kotoshi, Ogun, Orisha, ni one of the long. Or no, me la Moruko, yeah, I like Jeru. Okay, get it now, BC. Say, yeah, The idea of Allah is somebody who is not of this world, who descended from space. Those are the ideas of the Romans and the Greeks. Even it's in the Bible. Sons of God and daughters of men. In the Bible, at the beginning, the sons of God, who was from God, we don't have that in Yoruba. We know where they are born.
they are heroes. They are human beings, but they have done what most people could not do, and they single themselves out as contributors to the development of the Yoruba people. So the idea of having many gods, no, I'm a boy long or lower. Only if I love ba, or is I lost. Or by load of money, Nicola and Beckley, or I know far. A load of money, Nicola, okay. I want to know, she'll be in the bed there by woe, I want such. St. Matthew's Day, St. Paul's 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 Day, So I want to answer it. So the one who can only learn Yoruba, so they can also watch the film. We want Orisha. So the translation of Orisha is saint. And then you know the song you know the saint. Up to today, Pope long when you know the saint, along with that saint, every time when the saint you know you know the case or not the one. I want to just ask only. I want to hear. So the one who can go there, that one who can only do Orisha. One case alone, small God, along with Kere, you know what I mean. So long, last so long, so long, so long. So the problem we have today is that we have been brought up to believe that Yoruba language is a vernacular, it is a failure. The white man who said that does not speak Yoruba. If somebody comes from my village and sees me at the University of Lagos and speaks Yoruba to me, the attitude is that your primitive sister is here. Ara uko uko boyimbo. So for a long time now, the credibility of your being a civilized person is that you must speak English. You are enlightened. You are civilized because English is the language of the civilized people. Yoruba is vernacular. You know the meaning of vernacular, the language of the primitive people, which is not structures, which is nothing. So who wants to speak vernacular? I remember I paid fine with my money for for breaking school. Where you speak vernacular, you pay. You are not allowed to speak vernacular because to show yourself as an educated person. But my worry, I know some people share the worry. I don't know who will tell me any culture in the world where the children are educated in a foreign language. You get to Germany. I lived in Germany. German is the language of education from primary to the university. France, France, Britain, Japan, Chinese. Why is it all different? Probably our problem is this place is that we don't know the meaning of education. To be educated in Nigeria is to be able to speak English and write English. But I think writing and reading is a secondary thing. If you look, I've tried to look at the meaning of education. Education is a process of passing your knowledge, the knowledge of a pool, from generation to generation. Now, if my father wants to pass the knowledge he has to me, what language will he use? Secondly, there's one thing that I found in my West education: knowledge is supposed to be improved from time to time. My father will teach me something in the hope that I may improve on it. But when you read people wrote on Africa, especially in Yoruba, they said in Africa we don't improve knowledge. That what our father tell us is what we continue to say. Professor says so. Professor Apia is from Ghana. Professor Mudimbe is from Zimbabwe, and he said our problem is that. We teach our children in our language, and we make them repeat what their fathers. I think the problem I have with that Yoruba is, seems to be extraordinary and different. I am not saying they are wrong. I have evidence that they are wrong. The Yoruba people say, "Oh, my God, no way they are me." Now, oh my, wisdom this year. He doesn't say "ago." Where is madness? If knowledge can change beyond recognition and become madness, the people know that. So how do they think that the knowledge they give their children must must be retained? But I don't blame the two of them. They don't read Yoruba language. They have not come across what I said. And for you to say the language is primitive, for God's sake, you must know it. You must speak it. Let me stop at that. 
So the problem we have today is that we have been brought up to believe that Yoruba language is a vernacular, it is a failure. The white man who said that does not speak Yoruba. Now, my duty is to find out whether what he says is right. I go and study Yoruba and I come back and tell him that my language is better than your. The Yoruba man wants you to speak his language, he must destroy your. He must promote his Japan, the Chinese. And they have invent, invented so many things. They speak their language, they teach their children. Those of you, who believe that English is better? You have been educating your children. What have you found? What have you invented? There's no language that is perfect. Study your language, identify the one that is useful, and take away. But leaving it, not speaking it, and learning it, you are killing it. You are committing suicide. And the question is, why is it that we are not speaking our language? Anybody who comes up and say we should not speak English, we should speak Yoruba, doesn't understand. One. This country is made up of 253. Unless you are saying we should break up. If I speak only Yoruba, do I communicate with others? So we take English as lingua franca. But what would that, that part of the Romans are the Greeks. Even it's in the Bible. Mr. Modupo Duyoye was a, a priest of the Anglican Church. He ran into difficulties because he wrote a book. Genesis chapter 1 to 16. Sons of God and daughters of men. In the Bible, at the beginning, the sons of God, who was from God, we don't have that in Yoruba. Oh, yeah, it's from Mofa. More than me, it's from Mofa. Oromila is from. We know where they are born. They are heroes. They are human beings, but they have done what most people could not do, and they single themselves out as contributors to the development of the Yoruba people. Because they miss on the page, they about the BT Yoruba, so Yoruba. Tony should go along. Tony or Yah along, a Jekari. Or the Shalom of it. Tony will along. So the idea of having many gods. No. I'm a boy long or lower. Only if I love back, or is I lost it. Or by Ludu Mine, they call like Beckley, or I know far. If I love back, or is I long, no labe, but Ludu Mine, they call like okay. So you're both. I want to know, she be in the place there by woe. I want church. St. Matthew's Day, St. Paul's Day. She alone is there, Paul. November 1, All Saints Day. We won't go there, but it's St. Paul, St. Peter, and you're not one. So you won't want to think of Patak. Nobody, but Bobby, and laughing, we won't need Saint. So I want to answer. So you won't go there, and you're not going to be able to do that. So you won't know Risha. So the translation of Risha is Saint. And then you're not there, so you're not Saint. Up to today, Pope, long when you're not Saint, or long old Saint. I don't know when Saint, you're not going to be able to do that. I want to get one lay, I want to get to the one that's going to die from one, I want to do this. I want to get a lot of small gold, I want to get a lot of cake, I want to get a lot of cake, I want to get a lot of cake.